Hey, this is Prema, and this is the first in a series called Prema Uncensored, where my viewers send me questions, and I give them my honest answer on them without any censoring. So the first question I got is, how do you perform your own spiritual practice and not neglect the fact that as human beings, they are inevitably social animals, thus being good association to others within the community? Spiritual practice and association aren't mutually exclusive. Association is spiritual practice in motion. How do you know if you learn any lessons if you never associate with anybody? It's like going for a job interview, have zero references, but you say that you're a good team player because maybe you read a few books and you felt it in your heart. It doesn't make any sense. So like they say, virtue untested is no virtue at all. It's the same thing. How do you know if you learned humility if you've never had a chance to be humble? How do you know if you learned tolerance or patience or kindness if you've never had that opportunity to express those emotions. So you say you want to be good association in your question, but to be good association, you also need to take good association. I mean, you're not like some mystical being and we're all just like waiting for your darshan. It's not, I mean, and, and I don't think that you're like Prahalad. You know, Prahalad is surrounded by demons, even his dad is a demon, yet he's able to instruct his schoolmates and be an example and be the uh, good association. See, that's the difference. Um, most of us wouldn't be Prahlad Maharaj. Most of us would be like, yeah, let's pillage some towns and murder some innocent villagers. We wouldn't be the association like Prahlad. So try to find good association. And um, you can do spiritual things. You can just hang out but find good association. Not me, but somebody. The so question number two says, what if Trump was openly a devotee and had a plan to convert America to Krishna consciousness, yet still had those other imperfect tendencies he has exhibited so far? Would you vote for him? Very topical question. So here's what we know about Donald Trump. We know that he doesn't have any respect for women. We know that he's got strong ties with Russia. And we know he's awaiting trial for raping a child. Sounds like he's already an ISKCON devotee. Even if he had some grand plan to make America Krishna conscious, it just couldn't happen because of freedom of religion. You know, the whole purpose of religion is for people to find God and find themselves and develop a loving relationship with God. It can't be forced down people's throat. You can't force love in somebody, otherwise you know, Matt Damon and I would have... Okay, never mind. I think Trump has had a couple of good ideas. I think he'd be a cool person to hang out with, but he wouldn't be a very good political leader. I think Donald Trump would be funny to hang out with. Like, you go to a restaurant, the bill comes up to something like ninety-seven twenty-four, and then he'll probably try to haggle it down to $10, and then he won't pay the tax on the bill, and he won't tip the waiter because of bad service, he'll claim. And then the owner is going to find out and he'll try to talk to Trump and then Trump won't believe that he's the owner and ask for proof of ownership, right? They get into this huge argument and then Trump decides he's going to buy over the whole restaurant, fire everyone in there and put in his own people. And he keeps saying that it's going to be the greatest restaurant you've ever seen. He'll probably even partner up with the competitors across the street to help him run the restaurant. And then he keeps reassuring you over and over that he's going to make eating great and safe again and then you're like but wasn't eating always great and when was it not safe and now this fun trip to a restaurant suddenly became this crazy situation and you're not sure if you should maybe just back away slowly or maybe just stand there awkwardly or maybe you support him because he did after all buy you a meal doesn't that sound like it would be funny ha fun I'll be honest, the only way I'd vote for Trump is if he suddenly pulled off his Trump mask and revealed himself to be Kalki Avatar. Because that would confirm what we already know, that a Trump presidency would mean the end of times. Thanks for watching.